on the road to atonement. And oh. McAfee bangs him out of bounds. Oh. McAfee, who hit his hardest. Most linebackers playing the role of a linebacker right there. Oh, you got to be kidding me. On the road to atonement. And oh. McAfee bangs him out of bounds. Oh. McAfee, who hit his hardest. Most linebackers playing the role of a linebacker right there. Oh, you got to be kidding me. On the road to atonement. And oh. McAfee bangs him out of On the road to atonement. On the road to atonement. On the road to atonement. And McAfee bangs him out of bounds. Oh. McAfee, who hit his hardest. Most linebackers playing the role of a linebacker right there. Oh, you got to be kidding me. The question here is from Anthony Batagalia. Paisan. What was a better feeling, the holiday hit or the self-onside kick against Houston? Self-onside kick, yeah. Holiday hit, you black out whenever you're on the field. So what happened there, whenever I'm tackling Trendon Holiday, it's the most athletic moment of my life that begins with a fail. That's supposed to be a touchback, right? <laughs> that kickoff is supposed to be out of the back of the end zone because Trendon Holiday, Olympic sprinter, world-class speed. The <laughs> runs very fast in that particular year he was busting people wide open on returns big game Peyton Manning was coming back to Indianapolis for the first time since he left this is a big big deal so let's not let trend and holiday steal the show was our mindset going in so for kickoffs we're just going to kick it out of the back of the end zone and for punts we're going to try to get fair catches so as soon as I kick that ball off I'm like oh, is it going and I see trend back up and I see his eyes get big and I'm like well, there's a fail. These guys aren't supposed to be covering a kick anyways. And I think... The rest of the coverage team was like, all right, we're kicking this out of the back of the end zone. So this is on Pat, basically. And it kind of looked like that. He covers it like six yards deep. So I was only like five yards off or something like that, which is a long way when it comes to kicking. It was quite a miss. Then he starts breaking, and I see he and I, it becomes like the Red Sea. And I always use, like, the bait and tackle. People do that in fishing. I did that for real. I would always let people think that they could get the sideline, and then hopefully my little stumpy Caucasian legs would be able to get up fast enough and I'd be able to close the angle. That was always my technique. In college, I did it when I was bigger and faster than some of the returners. In the NFL, I'd do it against all the returners. It didn't always work. I tried to do it against Antonio Brown. He just stuck his foot in the ground and shook me. I tried to do it to Julian Edelman one time. Same thing. I think I have a weakness, and that's if somebody gives me with a big stick, I'm going to go for it. So, Trendon Holiday had the sideline, and I closed my eyes, ran as fast as I could, and obviously I sheened him. And I, I did like a punch tackle because I had good leverage on him. But there was very much a chance where – I was running full speed. He was running full speed, and I wasn't going to get him. Like, there was a chance I was just going to whiff completely and just go right in the Broncos. Blind squirrel found a nut. I tackle him. He goes down right in front of the entire sideline. The guy that's supposed to block me, Joel Dreesen, uh, gets upset because I hit him with a little bit of a spin move because he didn't think I was going to try, which on film I never did if anybody tried to block me. So that's on me, Joel. I apologize for that. That is not your fault. So I make that tackle. I pop back up. Place is going absolutely ape shit. Obviously, the crowd's going, and all I notice is like, oh, we just gave up a fifty-yard drive start right there. We just gave a fifty-yard line drive start to Peyton Manning. Like that, my stats are completely fucked right now. My field position is screwed, but everybody seems to be happy, right? Everybody seems to be pretty happy about it. So I'm jogging. Some people come over and slap me in the head. The ref comes up to me, asks me if I'm all right because I don't wear a mouth guard. But I didn't even really fully know what happened until I looked up on the jumbotron, saw it, and I was like. Oh, fuck. Look at that there. And then I sit back down, and then everybody forgets about it, right? Doesn't matter. Well, hello there. Utilize the promo code PAYTHEBILLS and get $20 off your first order from SeatGeek. Now, back to the magic. For that onside kick, we drove down. We scored after that. I think it was just like something that I'd made tackles before. I'd never recovered my own onside kick. And I don't think to that point anybody in the NFL had recovered their own onside kick. And the fact that I got to call it myself, basically, which only adds to the pressure where if I don't get that good chance, I'm getting. <laughs> what do you. Pat, what was that? What did you just do there? Well, I thought it, you, you thought, huh? You know what I thought? I thought we could find a new fucking punter. <laughs> <laughs> so is there, is there an audible call in like when you're on? Like yeah, yeah, up? yeah. So the move was, since we had hit an onside kick, we had hit a surprise onside kick to the right, and we had shown a surprise onside kick to the left, we knew that return teams were going to be kind of fucked. So in my head, it was always like, hey, somebody's... I like that coming. I like that coming. 
just going to leave the middle of the field wide open. I would like to be able to kick to myself. They're like, nobody will ever do that. I was like, all right, but what if they do? They're like, nobody will ever do that. I was like, what if they do? So I said, hey, if I hit my hamstrings while I'm putting the ball down, the two guys... Cold Anderson's on one side from Montana, and I forget the other side. They were the ones that controlled when the people would roll. I was like, if I hit my hamstrings, just keep everybody out. So we finally got to look against the Houston Texans, and as I was putting the ball down, I looked up. I see a guy back. I see a guy over there, and I'm like, you have got to be fucking kidding me. So I hit the hammies, and I look over at Colt, and I see Colt going like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, this is it. And uh, it just so happened, nobody even touched me. When I got on the ball, I thought my kidneys were going to get blown out by helmets uh-huh. and everything like that. Nothing happened. We moved forward. That's the most athletic moment of my life, and I think that's the biggest one of my NFL career. The tackle on holiday, though, will be talked about forever. But I think I got a concussion. To <laughs> on the road to a ten <laughs> That the NFL replay system once crashed because uh, they were trying to plug in a microwave to heat up the tur- or stuffing on Thanksgiving. There was a two-minute period during a Lions-Vikings Thanksgiving game where if something went to replay review, they would not have been able to do it because it was unplugged and a microwave was plugged in. Mm. And that is something that I think the world wasn't ready to hear but was excited to hear that that is potentially possible with how the NFL's replay review system goes. We never know what happens in there. We have no idea how some calls come back the way they do. Alberto Riveron last year, we thought he was potentially watching different games than the games he was getting challenges from. We had no idea how some... Now we're learning that it is potential that if you plug in a microwave to heat up some stuffing for a second round or a third or fourth round on Thanksgiving while watching football, you could potentially break the entire replay review. The Lions eventually won 16-13 with a Darius Slay in a to seal it at the end but for two minutes during that game if i'm the vikings i would challenge and contest that victory and say that there's no way we would have lost to the lions if the motherfucking microwave wasn't plugged in because we knew we weren't allowed to challenge at the time how insane is that though that that was possible at the review because a toaster just took down the replay system have a good day <laughs> what and then he goes and fights the other coach and that what schwartz used to do he used oh, to yeah, fight oh, the other yeah. try to fight harbaugh is awesome yeah harbaugh how many other times has it gone down you think i bet it's gone down more than we we would think but this is like when pe- a lot of times people think everything's a conspiracy like oh there's all these people involved to try to oh. try to screw somebody over it's conspiracy a lot of times no it's something like this a microwave shut the system down and it's just people like ignorance from one person or two people or someone messed something up like a lot of times people point to conspiracies for certain things when it's just human error it's wild Alberto there's a lot river of money on the line i Alberto- can't let that happen again alberto river was one big human error last season pal he's still there though right yeah he ruined the game too oh, they no. took the pass interference thing out just because he couldn't figure it out doesn't mean somebody else couldn't. I mean, let's let's make the game better here. Those are massive penalties, massive penalties, and we have the technology to make sure they're correct every time. Why are we not doing that? And to add on, if I challenge something and I get it right, I should get that challenge back anyways. I shouldn't have to get both right or whatever to get another one. You should have a challenge. You should have two challenges until you're wrong, and if you get it right and get it corrected and they do the XFL, transparent, voice of God thing down to the referee, that's how it should be. The XFL literally showed... The NFL, how to do their review process. Here you go. No microwaves when you're in the stadium. Can't do it. Actually, some somebody at the stadium will actually bring it to you. That's crazy. And it's just a closed circuit with somebody who knows the rules with a better eye that can just wheel it down to Walt Anderson's fucking ear so he doesn't have to walt over to the damn review thing 70, 80 yards away. Just bang, bang, bang. The fans know why you called it. I don't know why that hasn't just been adopted immediately. Like maybe even after week one. Commissioner, I think after the XFL debuted that week one, they should have been like, uh, the NFL has decided we will be doing exactly what the XFL just did this past weekend with our review system going forward. It's like, that was just the answer. Now you find out the microwaves can take it down. It's like, what the fuck are we doing, pal? Well, it's gonna ha- the rule's going to change, but it's going to be the NFL's waiting to make it look like it's their idea, and they didn't steal this from the XFL. Like, they don't want people saying, oh, you're doing the XFL-type replay deal, right? And like, no, this is the NFL replay. Ours is much different. And then they're going to describe it, and they're going to describe the exact same thing the XFL did. Yeah, but they, they do the Skycam, right? That was created by the XFL. Oh, yeah. They do that. Yeah. That's about... 
That's what everybody always talks about, by the way. They're always like, the innovative game, they created the Skycam the first time around. Like, Have you ever been in the stadium and watched the, the oh. networks set up the Skycam? That is the, the the gigantic wires they have to put from the top of the stadium, all the corners. It's unbelievable, man. I've hit one in a game. Not happy the about Sky it. Skycam? That guy got fired. Yeah, the wire thing? <laughs> yeah, oh, you hit the wire or you hit the camera? Hit the wire. Oh. Nobody knew but me, right? The returner, and I'd assume the guy who controls the thing. Yeah. So they didn't blow it dead? No. But because it, it like hit it, it was spiraling, and then it just broke it up, right? But it still spiraled because it was going far enough. But it, I don't know, probably took off 15 yards, maybe 20 yards off the punter. Well, if they play it dead, that's where, money out of your pocket. Where's the spot at? It was in college. Is that, if you call it dead, where's the spot? Like if you had the uh, Jerry World thing. It's uh, a re, it's re, a re kick. Uh, Wild. But yeah, I, those, that's an incredible innovation. I think hockey should do it every single game. They do it during the stadium series, and it feels like I'm going down with the shift. You know what I mean? Hey, boys, we run a flying fear. What? I'll be in the, I'll be in the back. That's what it feels like. And you can see the puck and everything like that. But the hockey purists say it's not good for the game. It's like, Stooges. they want the glowing puck back, right? They the, had the streak behind it, like the neon yellow streak or whatever. Best innovations that come to sports. First down marker line. Yep. Yep. Um, Skycam's great. All strike box is pretty good. K zone. K zone is good. And then that hockey puck, you know, whenever it had the flame yeah. flying around the boards. Oh, you, you like Ooh. it? Tennis replay is pretty good too. Yeah. Tennis replay is the next level. I don't know how the machine, the robot like machine replay that, and you know, and they build up suspense too, showing oh. all the simulation. Of the ball. Oh. Tongue. 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 Oh, McAfee bangs him out of bounds. Oh, McAfee, who hit his hardest. Most linebackers playing the role of a linebacker right there. Oh, you got to be kidding me. I don't think I, I don't think I've ever seen a kicker with this kind of hit. I don't think I've ever seen a kicker with this kind of hit. I don't think I've ever seen a kicker with this kind of hit.
don't think I've ever seen a kicker with this kind of hit. I don't think I've ever seen a kicker with this kind of hit. I don't think I've ever seen a kicker with this kind of hit. I don't think I've ever seen a kicker with this kind of hit. And a hit. And a hit. Of course, it helps a little bit when the guy is smaller than you are, just five foot five. Pat McAfee is going to be legend among kickers everywhere. On the road to atonement. <laughs>